guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you the easiest way of um, high key um, image retouching in Adobe Photoshop CC. So guys, let's jump. As you can see, I have opened my image I took uh, last week in our studio. And by default, I have only one layer right now, background layer. I will rename this layer to the original. original and I will duplicate this layer. Now I will hide my original layer just to show to you later on before and after. And I will rename my top layer to the, my image. What I will do right now guys, I will apply a frequency separation um, a method of retouching to uh, my model's face. She doesn't need um, a lot of um, retouching but I retouch uh, all my images so I will duplicate my layer three times I will rename my uh, middle layer to the colors top layer to the details guys I recorded separate video about how you can retouch your image using frequency separation method if you would like to learn this method just go and watch my tutorial now I will hide my details layer, I will highlight my colors layer, I will go to filter, blur, gaussian blur and voila. I will bring back my details layer, I will highlight this layer, I will go to image, um, apply image, I will specify layer um, to colors, blending subtract and I will click OK. In my options, uh, in my layers uh, panel, I will uh, uh, change a blending mode from normal to linear light, just like that. Let me zoom in. Now I will um, highlight my colors layer. I will switch to patch tool and I will fix this area under her eye. One and second eye, just like that. I will switch to details layer using same, I will show to you same patch tool, I will fix this area. Perfect. And here. Perfect. Now guys, I will merge all my visible layers. Just like that. And let me show to you before and after so far. This is um, before. This is after. Guys, I like um, uh, my background around her hair, but I don't like um, my background on the bottom and top of the image. As you can see, I have very ugly uh, dark spots in here, so I can fix it. I will create a new empty layer using um, airdropper tool. I've, I will pick a color out of um, my background, which is next to her head area head or a hair area just like that using um, paint basket tool I will fill this uh, layer uh, with my uh, new color just like that I will rename this layer to my new background just like that and I will restock my layers I will bring my background layer under my um, image layer. Let me rename it to the image. So now I have two um, visible layers. First layer is my image layer and second layer is my uh, background layer. I will apply um, a layer mask to my uh, image layer. I will click here, add a layer mask, switch to a gradient tool from um, black to transparent and I will paint out uh, those black dark spots around um, edges of my image so just like that guys don't uh, alert that I'm painting out more than um, it's supposed to be uh, I will fix it just in a second so first of all I would like to fix my background I would like to remove all those ugly dark spots so just like that now I have equal uh, background. 
I will switch to my uh, simple brush tool with a white color on it. Guys, uh, pay attention um, uh, to what I'm doing right now. First of all, I will bring back to visible my original image and I will hide my new background uh, layer just because I would like to preview ages of her uh, short. And using my uh, brush tool with white color, I will bring back part of her outfit. I painted out just like that part of her hair. just like this and her gloves now I will bring back my new background layer and I will continue bringing back all details of my image I would like to keep just like that I will bring down size of my brush as you can see I'm bringing back all details of her glove. Now everything uh, in a focus. So I brought back everything what I want to have in her gloves and this glove, just like that. Now I will increase size of my brush and I will bring back part of her hair I painted out before. And short. And this side of her short. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I have everything back. But now I have perfect uh, background, equal background. So no um, dark spots, no uh, nothing. I have nothing which um, I would like to uh, remove out of my image. So perfect, perfect, perfect background. What I will do now, I will hide my original uh, layer and I will merge my uh, layers, merge visible. And now I have two layers, one my original image a layer and one um, uh, what we retouched so far. Now guys, I will switch to my move tool. I will duplicate my uh, image layer one more time. I will rename this layer to the new image. I will go to filter, camera raw filter. First of all, I would like to fix my white balance. I will switch to a uh, white balance tool and I will click on um, any area in my image. I think it's supposed to be gray, just like that. And now I will bring exposure down slightly. I will increase contrast. I will uh, bring shadows down. So I will move shadow slider to the left. Same with blacks. Uh, I will increase highlights. And now I will switch to detail a uh, tone curve and I will move a highlight slider slightly guys, slightly to the right about plus two. I will bring lights down, same with darks, just like that. Now I will switch back to my uh, basic panel and I will bring up exposure, just like that. Not too much, guys. Guys, so let me click OK and I will show to you before and after, guys, how easy it was. And now, guys, extra tip. Let me duplicate my layer one more time. I will go to camera raw filter one more time. I can convert my image in black and white using camera raw filter in two ways. First of all, I can click, just simply click on black and white and I can adjust my sliders just like that to make my image uh, more interesting, just like that. I like it, but let me reset it. I have another way. I will click on profiles. I will click on black and white. And here I have many, many presets I can um, apply to my image. 
So I kind of like this preset. It's black and white uh, um, 03. I will close it and I will adjust this preset. So I will uh, increase exposure. I will increase contrast and I will click OK. And voila. This is our um, bla black and white version. This is our color version. And let me show to you before. This is our original image, colored image, image uh, uh, with all uh, colors and our black and white image. So guys, how easy is it to retouch your high key image in Adobe Photoshop CC? I hope you like this tutorial. If so, please um, share and uh, like it. And thank you for being with me. And I will see you later on. Bye, guys.